go? You don't? How come? Because there's no such thing. And it kind of sounds like the Kool-Aid Man, but a dancing, rapping Nutella version. <laughs> Which, regardless, sounds ridiculous. And there's no way what you said happened actually happened. Hmm. Right. I thought you wanted the version I wish that happened. Isn't okay. that what you asked for? Okay, well, good night, Barney. <laughs> Well, that was five minutes of our life that I'll never get back to. I don't think Fred should hang out with him anymore. Yeah, maybe he should. Because it, that was strange. It's disturbing how strange that was. Well, Barney was a bus, so why don't we call Ava? Maybe we'll have a better chance with her. Okay, well, I mean, she's just a little, um, what? Okay, well, she has terrible taste, which doesn't mean she won't tell us the truth or anything, but, like, for example, on Facebook, I'll share a talk about Twilight, and I'm like, why are you so, like, in 2019? And it's, like, a terrible 10 years ago, like, no one's not even reading <coughs> And she always talks about how it has such a good love triangle, and what you know, okay, she's obsessed with love triangles, which is so gross. How, why is that gross? <laughs> okay, so let me put it this way. So a love triangle is a whole dumb literary spies which prays that all girl care about get a guy. Which, I mean, when the history of dating, one girl is being pursued by two guys at the same time. What? Why aren't you answering me? Well, just because it's never happened to you doesn't mean it hasn't happened to somebody, right? I mean, it has to be so ha yeah. happening somewhere. Don't you think? It's not that far-fetched. Okay, look, why are you trying to pick this fight with me, like, right now? I don't know, and I immediately were going to say anything. Let's just call Ava. No, seriously, like, what are you trying to prove? Nothing! I forget everything! Just call Ava! This isn't over. I know. Hello? Ava, it's Mrs. Peterson. How are you? Great. So great. I'm in the middle of, the middle of this really, really romantic book, Pride and Prejudice. Have you heard of it? Yeah, by Jane Austen. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's so good, and I mean, I didn't think old books could be good, but guess what? They so can. I mean, it's not Twilight or anything, but it has this really, really romantic triangle, love triangle, and I don't know if you know this about me, but I love love triangles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone on Facebook knows this about me, because that's all you have to talk about. It, they're so great. One girl being pursued by two handsome rich guys, it's the ultimate dream. <coughs> it's the ultimate fantasy. It's the end goal of feminism. I think that's the opposite of this. Love triangles are the best. The best. Ava, nobody cares. We're calling you because you came on this afternoon and we want to from your point of view with a face room. Oh, okay. Well, what do you want to know? Just as soon as you came over. Okay, well, Kelly wanted to practice her audition, so I walked over at around 4.30. What? 
very dramatic, but I'm afraid it involves I do because, because, because she's in love with me. <gasps> Not you. <gasps> Partly Montgomery. Netflix is Armada High. That's right, Armada High. That show about a rich boarding school girl students are told are really, really hot. And now that we have some extremely attractive actors who are objectively the most attractive. Yes, I am. I've been all the way from Hollywood to claim my love for Ava. How do you even know her? Internet, Barney. And then they met and fell in love with it. Ava, this is amazing! You're not in a love triangle, you're more like in a love, a love pentagon! Pentagon? Don't you mean hexagon? Oh, no. Is that dog? <laughs> Walking on your legs? Yeah, what? Marvel, <laughs> what are you doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 